Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well and ready for another video. So, based on the success of my video on why Luna Lovegood is the most important character from Harry Potter, I've decided to apply the same concept to different characters. You guys really seemed to enjoy the Luna video, so it kind of dawned on me that I could perhaps begin a series of videos on why certain characters play such important roles throughout the Harry Potter story. So today's video is going to be, as you've probably guessed by the title, why Sirius Black is so important or possibly the most important character from the Harry Potter books. I'll be highlighting specific moments and giving examples to back such a statement up. So with that being said, welcome back to the Wizarding World, make yourself comfy and please enjoy today's video from Harry Potter Folklore. Okay everyone, let's get started. Now, as I said in the introduction of the video, today's video topic is going to be all about why Sirius Black is possibly the most important character from the Harry Potter story. Now, just before I go any further, I'm arguing these points for the sake of arguing, just like with the Luna video. I think certain characters have excellent standpoints for being absolutely crucial to the story and that's exactly the case with Sirius Black. So Sirius is hands down extremely popular with Potterheads all over. His likability factor is through the roof and that's not only down to his story but also the impact he had on Harry's life. Harry had believed that his godfather had betrayed his parents, that it was Sirius who ultimately caused their deaths. So when it's revealed that Sirius was set up framed for murder and spent 12 years in a prison for something he actually didn't do. He immediately won Harry's loyalty and trust without any hesitation. He wasted little time in even suggesting that Harry could perhaps live with him if he wanted and bear in mind this is before Voldemort returned to power. Actually, Voldemort was close to all but giving up hope on regaining his body and returning to power. Anyway, that brings Sirius into his first important role, being the father figure Harry never had. Now, Vernon Dursley wasn't exactly going to win father of the year. He despised his nephew, and Harry despised him. However, one could argue that Dumbledore and even Hagrid were both there for Harry as well, but not in the way Sirius could be. There were certain things Harry couldn't tell Dumbledore, but he could be completely open with his godfather. Sirius motivated him, he supported him, he was there when Harry needed him, even going as far as appearing in the Gryffindor fireplace just to help him. Sirius gave Harry something that he struggled to find his entire life, and that was belief. Belief in a better life, belief that things were going to get better now that they had each other. Even though things didn't exactly turn out okay, for the first time, Harry felt like he had a family. And most importantly, he now knew what that feeling was like. After all, Sirius knew his parents better than anyone. Imagine the stories he could tell Harry about James and Lily. Harry most likely felt he could get to know someone who loved his mom and dad just as much as he did. Black would have died for them, remember. He adored them. So the fact that, after all this lengthy amount of time, Sirius still wanted to be there for his godson, meant the world to Harry. Now, this next example may not be a positive role of importance, but nevertheless it was a crucial highlight. Sirius was integral for Voldemort's return. Wormtail was in hiding for 12 years as the Weasley family pet Scabbers. So, it was Black's relentless pursuit of his former friend that forced Pettigrew out of hiding and with nowhere to go, as both Death Eaters sought him out for his cowardice and Ministry officials believing he was dead, he had to return to his master and as we all know, helped tremendously with Voldemort's return to power. Sirius also shows an incredible display of loyalty. During the height of the First Wizarding War, with Voldemort aggressively hunting James and Lily Potter, Sirius was determined to not only protect his friends, but attempt to outsmart the Dark Lord too. It was he who was supposed to be the secret keeper for James and Lily, only to swap that responsibility with Wormtail, with whom he and his friends 
had mistakenly placed their faith in. Despite all of that, despite the Potter's debts, he remained loyal to them for life. Black never cowered at the chance to fight. He was extremely frustrated at Dumbledore's orders for him to remain hidden when in truth he wanted to be part of the action, something he didn't shy away from, especially in front of Harry. Harry actually took so much motivation from his godfather. Now, Sirius' death was also extremely important. In fact, I'd go as far as saying it was the most important death in terms of affecting and influencing Harry. When Black was killed, it made Harry realise that Voldemort was not going to stop. He was going to take all of his loved ones until there was only Harry left. This was a very harsh reality for the boy who lived. Anyone and everyone could possibly die. Although Harry had witnessed the death of Cedric Diggory, the connection he had with Cedric was literally non-comparable to the one he had with Sirius. It was a father-son bond that they had created. Sirius's death affected Harry deeply. He had lived so long without any type of real family, then when he finally found someone, they were taken away quicker than he had entered his life in the first place. However, the fallback from Black's death caused Harry to rapidly pursue Bellatrix all the way to the atrium. He hurt her momentarily with the Cruciatus curse, but this in turn led Voldemort to expose himself to Harry and in turn Dumbledore, who had a plan to delay the Dark Lord until the Ministry officials arrived, and when they did, they themselves could finally witness Voldemort in the flesh, which would finally clear both Harry and Albus's names. Even before Ceres was killed, any time he even spoke to Harry during the Battle of the Department of Mysteries, it was a different variation of telling Harry to leave and get to safety. Sirius wasn't always the perfect role model. He was sometimes reckless and, despite always having Harry's best interest at heart, he wasn't opposed to Harry joining the Order of the Phoenix. Sirius Black was so important to Harry and also extremely important to the story because he was Harry's closest link to his parents. Remember, Harry had spent close to 12 years not knowing anything about them. Sirius connected Harry to them through his loyalty and love. As I said, Harry instantly bonded with his godfather. Despite his close friendship with the Potters, Sirius, like Harry, had felt like an outsider his entire life, like he didn't belong. His parents didn't want him, and Harry's parents died. They both needed each other before they even met. Sirius Black filled that hole for Harry, but it's important to note, Harry filled that hole for Sirius. After Sirius died, Harry believed he had lost the only family he had ever had, but in the end it was Sirius who helped him understand that a biological connection is simply that, biological. Family is earned, and Harry would always have family in the form of his friends which was something that Harry had in abundance all along. So everyone, that is my video on why Sirius Black is incredibly important, if not the most important character to the Harry Potter story. Sirius is a huge character and was quite influential. So my question for you today is this. Can you name any other reasons as to why Sirius was so important to the Harry Potter story? Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this mini-series I'm doing. And I have another question. Do you want to see more of these videos? Because I would love to continue the series. Again, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. And always remember, be happy and be kind. Thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Everyone, notifications of uploads are more important than ever. So please, if you haven't already, turn those notifications on to make sure you're notified the moment my video goes live. Making videos is what I love to do. It's my dream and my passion. However, it does cost time and money to produce this content. So if you have a dollar to spare to support me on Patreon, in exchange for some exclusive unseen content, then you can click the Patreon link below or at the end of this video. Please only support me if you can afford it. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at InstaDNJ and on Twitter at Potter Folklore. Check out my other videos appearing on screen and please make sure, most importantly, to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again everyone and please have a great day.